Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a Mom Day Monday, and today our Jen Tobias Strusky is getting some tips from pediatrician and author Dr. Lulu. Now, she's known for helping families, and today our viewers have some questions, so take a look. We are talking mom to mom today. We have three of our viewers who sent in some questions, and this involves bullying and self-acceptance and how we can help our kiddos right now. And I'm so excited that we have you as a resource. Thank you so much. This has been like in the making, it's a dream come true. Anytime you are put in the world to use your voice to help others, I say, do it. So let's get it done, let's go. Our first question comes from Adriana. Her question, she has an eight-year-old, seven-year-old boy, and she wants to know, what are some red flags to watch if you think that your child is being bullied, what should you be looking out for? And so the first thing to do is to know your child. I, I know that sounds kind of like, but duh. But the truth is, if you know your child, then you can tell when there's a change in mood. And it may be your child comes home hungry every day when you know you pack lunch. Maybe someone is taking their lunch. Maybe your child comes home with a scratch that quite doesn't match the story. Maybe he's been beaten up. Maybe your child wants to skip school. Oh, mom, don't worry about it. Um, I don't want to go to school. Just starts developing anxiety towards going to school or, you know, some, the, the, the mood changes where you said, but well, he used to love school. Now he doesn't want to go to school anymore. Or where's your homework? The old saying, the dog ate my homework kind of thing where maybe somebody beat their book down or took their book bag. Anything like that, anything out of the ordinary, you should first observe and then get your child into a comfortable place, like maybe take a walk around the neighborhood and start talking about maybe your own experience you've had with bullying or someone down the street who was bullied. Don't just come out and say, are you being bullied? They're gonna, the first instinct is no. So be on the lookout and ask about kids who call other kids names and what are your child's thoughts about it. Just leave it open like that. Crystal is our next viewer who has a question. When should you ask for help as a parent? If you notice all of a sudden your child is acting different, you mentioned the signs right now for bullying, but maybe you see a big difference. They've withdrawn, they're just different. I think it depends on what your definition of help is. The most important person to empower is yourself. So when it comes for, to asking for help, you would ask yourself, what would you do if that was you? When would you ask for help? It's right away, right? But the best way to ask for help is to make sure that the child is part of it. Most kids will say, mom, don't make a big deal of it. No, it's okay, and don't tell anyone. So again, asking your child, what would you do if you knew that your friend was being bullied? They'll be like, well, I'll tell the teacher. That gives you an idea that they are comfortable telling the teacher. So you know what, I'm gonna to come to your school and have a chit chat with Mrs. Robinson, just to kind of talk about, you know, these things that you're going through. What are your thoughts about that? Again, making sure that you have open-ended questions. What are your thoughts about something? Our last question here is, what are some tips that you may have for parents watching today to start a conversation with your child about self-acceptance? Every time I coach my parents, I always say, everything begins with you. So ask the parent, have you exemplified, have you exhibited the same behavior of self-acceptance? Many of us don't. I was talking to a client this morning and asking her to do the mirror exercise where you look at yourself in the mirror, but you don't look at yourself critically. We all do that. You look at yourself like a friend. And that changes the perspective right away with kindness and compassion and say, you know what, girl, you got this. And so if you exemplify that behavior to your child, your child grows up automatically just knowing that they should accept themselves. Right? Wonderful. Right? All right, for more help from Dr. Lulu, you can find her social media links on salive.com. Just click on the